all pundits of rap and entertainment crying about J. Cole bowing out of his back and forth disc records with Kendrick Lamar. Why? Not all of you have taken that route. Some of you understand and don't operate on such a low frequency. The brother is trying to elevate the frequency in which he operates on. And he has a right to do that. That's his career. Those are his words, his thoughts. If you want that, you do it. But he's trying to elevate his thoughts. He doesn't want to succumb to the thought process that in order to demonstrate his level or how good he is in terms of rap by degrading another person, he understands. It's not about that. Yeah, in the past, there's some historical evidence that people have done that to demonstrate their prowess and how good they are in rap. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you have to degrade another person to elevate yourself. We all been taught that. Come on. We've been taught that. And he knows better. He's a grown man. He is not asleep. Now, some of you, we have to part you because you were asleep and you believe that in order for you to be better than someone else or for, for Cole to demonstrate that he's better than someone else, he has to degrade others, namely Kendrick Lamar. Come on, man. He doesn't have to go for that. Because you know what happens? You know what happens? And we're doing business here. Okay, we're doing business. He alienates himself from Kendrick Lamar fans. Who wants to do that? He's trying to get the money. You don't alienate yourself when you're trying to get the pot. Now, some of you low frequency thinking people believe that you are going to wrap his audience into submission. Doesn't work like that. Not too easy, at least. So, the best thing to do is exactly what he did. He got the window, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, get back on your dean, get yourself back aligned properly, so that way you can pick up the pot. The name of the game is the pot. All right. Yes, there is a certain level of decorum in hip hop where you degradate someone else's character. I mean, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I support you, J. Cole. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to the low frequency thinkers. Those who succumb to the lower ego. Don't do it. Don't do it. You already know what will happen. They say they want a back and forth, but that back and forth, we see what has become of that. Now, some of them, of course, are wise enough and smart enough to take it as a competitive sport back and forth. But there will be a number of them who won't. And what will happen? You know, the worst. Because some person will not understand that you're keeping it just hip-hop. They won't understand that. So, it is what it is, my brother. I support you 100%. I think you're doing the right thing. And... I believe there's a few people that needs to be checked out there. I'm not going to call their name. They know who they are. If you got hurt because you wanted this man to
to the gray Kendrick Lamar catalog or the greatest character or just speak down on the brother. Why? Why would you want that? Why would you want to speak down? That really tells me about what's happening in your brain where you get entertainment. You're entertained by the fact that another man is speaking down on the next man. That's not hip hop. Okay? And I come from the era of when hip hop was born. Hip hop was never about degrading the next man. Hip hop was making you hip to what is happening. It's getting you informed. That was hip hop. The essence of hip hop was informing you of what's happening to the oppressed. So wake up, you youngsters and those of you who have low frequency thinking. I'm going to help you. You're welcome. Hip hop was never about degrading the next person in order to elevate yourself. Hip hop was about your ability to articulate what's happening to the oppressed. Those of us who are oppressed in the hood, in the ghettos, or wherever you are. That's what hip hop was about. It was telling you what was happening in a slick way. Using the vernacular that we use in the hood. And you put that out on wax and you felt some camaraderie because, hey, this person is saying and speaking the way that I speak. So let's wake up. Let's not get involved in low frequency thinking and let's not allow these people to define what hip hop is. It's not, it's not about that. Lottie Dottie was never on that. Okay? Sugar Hill Gang was never on that. Mary Mel wasn't on that. Curtis Blow wasn't on that. Grandmaster Flash wasn't on that. So let's wake up. Let's don't let these people redefine what hip hop is. Let's don't let them do that. Now, if we rapping, that's one thing. Call it rap. You rapping. You talking some, you know, nonsense. You making noise. You rapping. When you unwrap something, it makes noise. That's what you're doing. You just rapping. But when we're talking about hip hop, nah, man, I'm not gonna let you youngsters try to fool or get fooled. I'm not gonna let you youngsters get fooled. Okay? I turned 54 this year. Hip hop is 50 years old, remember that? So I got a little bit of authority because I remember this. I remember hip hop. Yes, that was the Cool Mo D versus LL Cool J. Yeah, it's cannabis versus LL Cool J. Yeah, all of that. It happened. Nas versus Jay Z. It all happened. And a few others out there. Roxanne versus the real Roxanne. It happened. It happened. Without question, it happened. However, we called it gimmicky, really. To be honest with you, Roxanne versus the real Roxanne, gimmicky. 
some of that so-called beef. What's it beef, man? Gimmicky, man. Wasn't even real. Come on, man. If you believe that the only way to demonstrate that you are the best is by degrading the next person or the next rapper, you're sadly mistaken. It's not that kind of party. We got to get off that. We own the drum ride and do that. In country music, they don't do that. In rock and roll, they don't do that. In R&B, they don't do that. Gotta stop it. Wake up. Wake up. That's what you gotta do. You gotta wake up. And I'm sure some guys out there is gonna be able to refute what I'm saying. Say it. I'll come back to you. But I'm not gonna degrade you. I'll just say that the points that you're making are incorrect. Or they're faulty. But you're entitled to your opinion. I got my opinion. I can't say it's a fact that J. Cole is, is somehow lesser because he bowed out or he apologized. I can't say he's any lesser. If anything, He's cleaning up spilt milk. Shouldn't have jumped out there anyway. But since he did, he cleaned it up. He, he, he owned his mistake. Because if he's really clever, he can demonstrate leadership without degrading your friend. Okay? And I could take this so many different places and so many different ways to articulate this. But I'll wait for someone to respond. I'll wait. I'm going to come in light right now. I'm coming in light. But it doesn't really take a lot of brain power, brain cells to understand the point that I'm making. Some of you are gonna say, yeah, but there's a history of rappers from KRS-1 on down battling. Yes, there are, there is. Is KRS-1 doing that now? Huh? Is Ice Cube doing that now with NWA? Huh? Is Dr. Dre going after Suge Knight? Huh? The old heads don't do that. These are mature people. They, they don't do that any longer. And some of you are going to wake up and no longer fall for the gimmicks. They know that it's going to excite those with the low frequency receptors. They know it's going to excite you. And then they do it so that they can get their attention. But he's not aiming at that. That's not his target. He told you that. He told you that it's not his target for low frequency receptors. He's targeting high frequency receptors those of us who are looking for higher frequencies to consume we don't want the low frequencies why because low frequency outputs low objectives low frequency goals low frequency achievement we gotta have high achievement 
higher goals, higher objectives. That's what we got to get on. Not the toddler thought process where we're fighting to show our dominance. Man, I've seen how this movie is before. I've seen it. And if it doesn't happen between them two, it is the catalyst for happening somewhere else between two other people. Because they can't discern whether it's real or not real. And they can't keep it in the road. They don't have the mental fortitude to be able to understand what's happening. And so that's the kind of thing I'm trying to get you guys to understand. I'm trying to get you to wake up. Let's, let's be hip hop, man. Let's hip people to what's going on. Let's do that. Now, speaking of what's going on, what's hip? Well, first off, I don't like talking about these entertainment things without trying to relate it to something personal in your life. How can you use this? How's it that you can hear this information and then apply it. Well, the way I would suggest is, you know, turn your ear down from low frequency information or data. Okay, what's, what's, what is data? Data is content that gets consumed. Sorry, I was just looking at this lady <laughs> trying to deal with these dogs. So, so you got data. That's the lowest form of content. Then you got information, which is processed data. Data that's processed is called information. Then you got knowledge. Knowledge is information that's used. Then you got wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge applied to the benefit of its wielder. That's wisdom or to the whole of society. That's wisdom. You guys are using data in the opposite way. That's not wisdom. So when you think about things that you consume in terms of information or data or knowledge, who is it benefiting? Is it benefiting society as a whole? Is it elevating your thoughts? Is it elevating the next man? Inspiring him in a positive manner? That's what you gotta, you gotta use that yardstick. Data, information, knowledge, and wisdom. You gotta use that yardstick as a means to measure whether this content or data is any good. So I hope that you got something out of this. And if you got any questions, get down in the comments. Let me know your questions. If you agree or disagree, All right, join and subscribe. We'll continue to have more talks. Take care.